Ethiopia is a country known for its rich history and culture, but it is also making its mark with remarkable mega projects that are set to transform the nation. In this video, we will take you through the top 10 ongoing mega projects in Ethiopia for the year 2024. From massive airports to iconic towers and essential power generation, Ethiopia is stepping into the future with these ambitious endeavors. And it's our turn to peek into the future. So without further ado, let's start. First up at number 10 is something massive. Ethiopia is constructing what's set to be the largest airport in Africa. Ethiopian Airlines is investing a whopping $5 billion in this project. Imagine an airport so big, it could surpass Johannesburg in terms of passenger capacity. The CEO of Ethiopian Airlines, Mes Fantasiu Bekele, has some ambitious plans. They're working towards their 2035 vision, which includes this giant airport named Absura. It's located about 40 miles south of Addis Ababa in Bishoftu. This is an area of 13 square miles bustling with about 100 million passengers annually. Plus, it's not just an airport. It's going to be an airport city with duty-free shops, hotels, and training centers. Think of Istanbul's new airport, but in Ethiopia. At number 9, we've got the Misab Tower. Now, this isn't just an ordinary building. Shaped like a Misab, an Ethiopian household utensil, it's a 74-story mixed-use development in the heart of Addis Ababa. The Ethiopian Ministry of Culture and Tourism is on board with this project, which will span over 20,000 square meters. Slated to be completed in five years, it's not just a tower, it's a cultural emblem. Imagine a 250-meter tall structure housing hotels, shopping centers, a cultural center, a gym, and even a golf club. It's a testament to Ethiopia's rich culture fused with modern development. Number eight brings us to the Tom's Hydropower Project. Situated in the Baro River Basin, this project is all about energy. With a reservoir covering 76 square kilometers and a dam soaring to 248 meters, it's designed to tackle the region's power shortages. What's impressive is its live storage capacity of 4.8 billion cubic meters. This project is a cornerstone in Ethiopia's infrastructure development, currently in permitting stage and set to be developed in one phase. Marching on to number seven, Let's talk about the Koisha Hydroelectric Dam project. This 2.16 gigawatt hydroelectric facility is an engineering marvel. With an investment of $2.8 billion, it started its civil construction back in October 2016. The Koisha project, nestled on the Omo River, is a powerhouse, literally. It's expected to generate 6,460 gigawatt hours of electricity annually and offset millions of tons of CO2. The project features eight Francis turbine units, each with a capacity of 270 MDO, located 370 kilometers southwest of Addis Ababa. This project isn't just about generating power. It's about powering a nation's future. At number six is the Fairfax Oil Refinery Project. Imagine this, a gigantic state-of-the-art oil refinery in a small town of Awash, just 220 kilometers from Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa. This isn't just any refinery. It's a massive $4 billion investment spearheaded by the US-based Fairfax Africa Fund in collaboration with Asian partners. The scale, huge. We're talking about a facility that can process a whopping 120,000 barrels of crude oil per day. To put it in perspective, that's around 6 million metric tons annually. Just think, Ethiopia's first oil refinery, built way back in 1967 in what's now Eritrea, could only handle 500,000 metric tons per year. This new refinery is a game changer, increasing the capacity to refine 12 million metric tons annually. It's a big step towards boosting Ethiopia's energy security. Moving on to number five, we have the Lapsat Corridor Project. This isn't just an Ethiopian project. It's a regional powerhouse, connecting East African countries with Kenya leading the charge. Launched back in 2012 by leaders from Ethiopia, Kenya, and South Sudan, Lapset stands as a symbol of regional unity and economic growth. Imagine a 500-meter-wide infrastructure corridor filled with roads, railroads, pipelines, and power lines. Beside it, a vast 50-kilometer-wide economic corridor beckons industrial investments. The vision? A gateway for transportation and logistics in East Africa. Plus, the long import at Manda Bay is set to become a bustling seaport boosting trade for Ethiopia, Kenya, and South Sudan. 
The plan is to bring in private sector investments and concessions to make this dream a reality. At number four, let's talk about the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. This isn't just any railway. It's the first modern electrified line in East Africa. Owned jointly by Ethiopia and Djibouti, it marks a significant leap for Ethiopia, offering a faster route to the port of Djibouti. The railway stretches over 780 kilometers, connecting through Dar Dawa and breathes new life into the old meter gauge railway built in 1917. This line is crucial, linking the vital cargo port of Djibouti with landlocked Ethiopia, which had suffered from poor management and maintenance of the old railway. Africa CDC headquarters. Imagine this, a massive office for the Africa Center for Disease Control and Prevention, sprouting up south of Addis Ababa. We're talking about a whopping 90,000 square meter area with all the cool stuff. Emergency operations, labs, training centers, and even apartments. This isn't just any building, it's a symbol of hope and health, thanks to the Chinese government's help. They're not just building a structure, they're creating a China-Africa health community. Expansion of Mojo Dry Port. Imagine a place where goods come and go without the sea. That's Mojo Dry Port for you. It's central to Ethiopia's trade, linking the heart of the country to the ports of Djibouti. And now, it's getting a mega makeover. Think bigger warehouses, smoother roads, and all sorts of facilities to boost leather, textiles, and agro products. The World Bank is chipping in $110 million for this, making it a hub for almost 80% of Ethiopia's imports and exports. Giant Cement Industrial Complex. Now this is huge, literally. West China Cement Limited and Ethiopian East African Holding Company are joining hands to set up the Lemmy National Cement SC Industrial Complex. It's like a giant, spread over 270 hectares, and it's going to make cement, glass, gypsum, and more. With a $2.2 billion budget, this complex in Lemmy Town isn't just about materials. It's about jobs for 10,000 people and sparking local development. If this peek into the future excites you as much as it does me, remember to keep an eye on these developments. Each one represents a step towards a brighter, more connected Ethiopia. It's not just about the buildings or the ports. It's about the people whose lives will be changed, the jobs created, and the communities uplifted. Imagine the young professionals working at the Africa CDC headquarters, contributing to vital health research and responses across the continent. Think about the bustling activity at the expanded Mojo Dry Port, where goods flow smoothly, supporting businesses and fueling economic growth. And picture the giant cement industrial complex, not just as a facility churning up materials, but as a symbol of Ethiopia's industrial prowess and its commitment to sustainable development. These products are more than just concrete and steel. They're about innovation, collaboration, and a vision for a future where Ethiopia plays a significant role on the global stage. They're about harnessing the power of partnership, with countries like China playing a key role in bringing these ambitious projects to life. As these projects progress, they're bound to face challenges. But with challenges come opportunities. Opportunities for learning, for growth, and for strengthening the resilience of the nation. And let's not forget the role of the international community and organizations like the World Bank in supporting these endeavors. Their involvement is a testament to the global belief in Ethiopia's potential. These mega projects are not just transforming the landscape of Ethiopia, they're reshaping its destiny. They're paving the way for a future where Ethiopia is not just a participant in the global economy, but a leader in its own right. So let's keep our eyes on these developments and cheer on Ethiopia as it embarks on its exciting journey of transformation. Remember, every mega project started as a dream, a blueprint, a plan. And now these dreams are turning into reality. One brick, one road, one building at a time. And that's a wrap on Ethiopia's top 10 ongoing mega projects in 2024. Thanks for joining me on this fascinating journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights into the world's most exciting developments. Here's to Ethiopia's bright future.